Hello everybody, this is Nationalist James Anderson from the Marion County Park District. And today I'm at the Myers Woods Nature Preserve, which is our one park, uh, which is located on Marion Wadat County Road, right across from the Kildare Plains Wildlife Area. And uh, I always love this park because it always has tons of uh, unique wildflower diversity. Um, I would probably Paradise has probably the most flower diversity, and then Myerswood probably has the uh, second most uh, wildlife diversity. And uh, this is probably one of my top five favorite uh, wildflowers. Just how oddly and unique uh, it looks. And uh, some of you might be wondering, well, what in the world is it? Uh, this is actually called Jack in the Pulpit. And uh, this is related to the skunk cabbage or the green dragon. This is in the Arum ECA family. So, um, I know there's a lot of domestic species that are kind of related to this. And to the top of my head, I can't remember uh, what was some of the, the cousins are that, you know, you can typically buy like at Lowe's or uh, Menards or any other type of garden store. But what they all have in common, you're going to notice, and I'm going to kind of use my uh, this little stick here, but you're going to notice right there when I'm pointing that little weird looks like finger like thing here. I'll kind of lift it up a little bit. So that's actually called the spadex and that's actually technically the flower of this. Um, so this is uh, the would be the least, but this would be the sepals and sepals um, are kind of like modified leaves. They're basically to help support the flower. Uh, trilliums are an excellent uh, example of that. Um, but this just helps protect it. Also, too, you'll notice there's going to be these weird uh, brown stripes uh, running down. Uh, those are called the uh, spayfs, and they think it's to help attract pollinators, and they actually think flies uh, pollinate this flower. So, yeah, a lot of people don't think flies are, are pollinators, but they are, because uh, when we think pollinators, we think of bees, and we think of hummingbirds, and butterflies, and moths, but... Uh, yeah, f uh, flies uh, can be a uh, pollinator, and not just for uh, this guy, but skunk cabbage, they think. Uh, pawpaws are another great example. So there are a lot of uh, species of plants um, that, that depend on flies for pollination. So kind of for the least identification, it's, it's in threes. So it kind of reminds you of the trillium, um, but the trillium kind of uh, sits, sits upright. Um, and, you know, and supports the flower versus if you notice here that we have this flower and then the leaf has its own little stem right next to it. Though. So this is a, a, a thing called basils, um, kind of leaf structure. That means that the, the leaf does not actually grow right directly on the flower. Um, it has its own stalk or its own stem. So, um, if you're trying to identify it, uh, some of your uh, wildflower guidebooks will kind of uh, uh, mention about that. But I definitely wanted to talk about it now because, boy, here soon uh, this plant is going to disappear. Um, and what's actually interesting, uh, this is a preannual, and uh, it can live up to 27 years. Very, very long live uh, for, for a preannual. Um, but it's really amazing that it grows here in Ohio and in Marion County. So uh, what the one cousin I talked about was skunk cabbage. I made a video kind of earlier, kind of late March or so. Um, that's actually one of our first wildflowers that bloom in the state of Ohio. So um, unfortunately, I don't know if it grows in Marion County. I have not found any in any uh, public property, um, especially in, not in any of our parks, but I've noticed that the Morrow County uh, parks uh, it grows about in all of theirs. So if you've never seen skunk cabbage, I highly recommend uh, going uh, to their uh, parks over there. So, um, But they will produce fruits uh, kind of in late summer and uh, early fall. There's a, a, and the arrangements are called combs. And some people say they're edible. you got to be very, very careful. Um, first off, you don't want to eat them raw. Um, has calcium oxalate, which means that it can be uh, harmful if eaten raw. So you do have to prepare it a, a certain way. And uh, we maybe want to talk about that in another video about how to prepare certain um, ed edible plants because um, some some you can eat raw of, of other plants and others you have to prepare in a, a specific way. So, 
All right, guys. Well, I hope you, you learned some fun facts about this plant and uh, definitely, again, enjoy it now because uh, it's it's not going to be here much longer once the, the trees start really producing their uh, leaves because this is a, a nice uh, spring ephemeral wildflower. So have fun, be safe, most of all, go out and explore your Marion County Parks. I'm naturalist James Anderson from the Marion County Park District.